Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of liquid simulations or fluid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import our model here. I will be using this Blender kit to get the models and by the way, Blender kit is free to download. So here I will search as juice can. So from here, I will select this model, just click on the image and it will be loaded here. So here we got the model. So now you can see we got the can model right so let's increase the scaling a bit and let's apply the scaling so go to this object apply apply scale now let's add rotation animation for this first so for that let's move on to this material viewport now select the object beyond the first frame press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for rotation now move to the last frame and here z value let's change this to minus 480 and again press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for rotation so now if i play this we will have the rotation animation but the speed is not constant so let's fix that come to this timeline here press a on the keyboard to select both the keyframes press a t and select this linear now the speed will be constant throughout the timeline nice so now let's add an empty to this model so go to this add come to this empty and select this cube so press s and increase the scaling here press one for front view and let's place this empty so now select the object hold shift key and let us select this empty now control p and select this object key transform option so now we can make this bit tilted here like this so now if i play this we will have the rotation animation also and we have tilted this can model a bit nice so now let's move on to this fluid simulation part so go to this add mesh select a uv sphere here let's place the sphere here like this so this will be the source that will be emitting the liquid so i think this much distance is fine now let's add fluid simulation onto the source so being selected this object go to this object options quick effects and select this quick liquid so now we got a box created around the sphere which is called as domain so basically the fluid simulation takes place inside this domain only so now we need to scale this domain in order to fit this in properly so press 3 for side view, let's select this domain, press S and increase the scaling here. So I think, let it be here, press S, Y and increase the scaling. I think this much is fine. Now press 1 on the keyboard and let's increase the scaling in X axis. So S, X and increase the scaling in X axis also. So you can see this entire CAN model and this sphere is inside this domain only. So the simulation takes place inside this domain and out of this domain we won't get any simulation. So make sure you scale up this domain so as to fit us in. Now we need to remember one thing. Here you can see this is the source right and here at the corner we will get this voxel size. So in order to get this fluid simulation work properly this voxel size should be less than the source that is emitting the liquid. So comparatively now the voxel size is larger. So we need to reduce the scaling so we can do that by increasing the resolution of domain so being selected this domain come to this physics property so here you can say domain type is liquid right let it be to liquid and resolution here we can change so i will change this to 64 now the size is less when compared to the source now this will be fine now scroll down here i will uncheck all the things so uncheck all the border collisions so here i don't want fluid to get collide with the borders so uncheck all the things now scroll down and enable this mesh option so here you can see we got this catch option right so here we need to select a folder where we can save the catchy data so let's select a folder so here i have selected a folder to save the catchy data now here we will get this start and end frame right so this is basically the simulation time length so if you want to increase the simulation time length just increase the frames value here so for this example 1 to 250 is fine so i will use like that only now let's change this type to modular then only we will get the bake option or else we won't get the bake option and here enable this resumable option that means if you want to pass the bake at any moment you can pass that one so enable this one so these are the settings for domain now select this uv sphere so flow type let it be liquid and flow behavior let it be geometry only so samplings i will increase this to 5 and enable this initial velocity option so here you can see this is y axis right we want the liquid to flow in minus y direction so this is y axis you can check here right so this is positive y and this side is negative y so here we want this liquid to move in negative y axis so we need to change this y value to minus and i will give a value of i think minus 25 is fine and also we need to have this velocity in z axis also so this is negative z and we want the liquid to flow upwards so positive z 
So come to this z value, z axis, and here I will give this as 10 value. Okay, so I think this much is fine. Now this liquid should collide with the can. So select the can, apply fluid onto that. So type change it to effector and samplings. I will increase this to 35. Now let's select this domain, scroll down and click on this bake all button. So here I have passed the simulation at 100 frames. So I think 100 frames is fine. So now if I play this, you can see the liquid is interacting with the can. So this is of less resolution for final render. I will increase this to 256 to get better result. Now let's move on to this material report once again. Now if you want to change the color of this, you can do that. So select this, come to this material properties and from here color, you can change the color whichever you like. So I think this much is fine and let's move on to this render viewport. So come to this world properties, click on this yellow dot and select this environment texture. So from here I will load HDRA. So HDRA is free to download from Polyheaven. So let me load one. So go to this open HDRA and select the file and open. So now we got the HDRA loaded in the same. Now come to this render settings, enable ambient occlusion. So distance I will increase this to 15. Scroll down, come to this screen space reflections, enable it and enable this refractions also. Now come to this film option. If you want to have transparent background, enable this transparent. So now let's add light in the scene. So go to this add light, add area light, press S and increase the scaling here. So let's place this area light here a bit. Now come to this light properties and power. I will change this to 25123. So now you can see we got some light in the scene and if you want to change the color you can do that. So come to this and let's change the color of the light a bit. So now let's add a camera in the scene. So go to this add camera. So control alt 0 to see through camera. Now press N on the keyboard. Come to this view option and lock to 3D cursor and camera here. Now we can adjust the position rotation. So now if I play this once again we will have the splash here. So this resolution I will increase it later. Currently this is not looking that much good. So now select this camera, enable this depth of field. Now drop down and in focus on object, let's select this can here and and f stop. I will reduce this to 0.1. Okay. So here you can see we got this blur in the foreground and the can will be in focus. So let's increase the resolution here. So select the domain once again, scroll down, come to this physics property, scroll down and Free the bake here, scroll up and let's increase the resolution to 128 or else let's increase this to 256 and after that let's increase the velocity of the USPR also. So let's hide this domain. So let's select this USPR, scroll down and uh, Y intensity I will increase this to minus 30 and Z I will increase this to 15. So now let's place this once again in this position. Now select the liquid domain. Enable it, scroll down, let's change this to wireframe mode and click on this bake all button. And one thing I forgot to mention, so if you want to have the simulation to look slow, we can reduce the scaling. So time scale here default set to 1, right? If you reduce this to 0.5, the simulation will be slow or if you increase the timeline here, time scale, the simulation will be fast. So for this, I will leave this to 0.35 only. I want the simulation to be slow. And now just click on this bake all button. So once the bake is done, you can render the scene out. So if you want to change the render engine, come to this render settings. So by default, this is a TV, change this to cycles and select this GPU compute. So after that, come to this output settings. So here the resolution is set to full HD. You can change it if you want. And later, click on this render region, crop to region. Frame rate, you can change it here. I will leave this to 24 only. After that, frame rate 1 to 250 is set here. So if you want to reduce, you can do that. So I will change this to 200 only. And later we need to select a folder where we can save the output files. So here I have selected a folder to save the output files and file format here you can use either PNG or JPEG. So I will use this to PNG only. So if you are using PNG, make sure this RGBA is selected. Okay. So once the setting is done, go to this render and click on this render animation. So in this way we can create this kind of fluid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.